Hey YT, it's 90302, and I wanted to come and ask you, how many of you guys have a love-hate relationship with the NYC New York Color Cosmetic line? That line often has products being displayed that are really eye-appealing, but when you get them, a lot of them don't really pan out. I feel like NYC always tends to miss the mark by this much. Uh, the lip products are a lot better than most of the eye products. Well, I happened to be in my local Walgreens and there was an end cap filled with all these new NYC color products. And so I took a gander to get a couple of them um, to come back and show you guys and give you my opinion on whether or not they are worth you going out to try to buy them. In this new display that you will probably start seeing in your store, you'll see a huge new NYC display. It will contain uh, lip glosses that are called the Up to 8 Hour City Proof Glosses, and I have some of those to show you. Um, they have the new Sparkle Eye Dust, and I have those. Um, and they have these new mascaras, and they have also a liquid lip product. Um, but my particular display did not have those. So I'm going to quickly go through um, the things that I did pick up. Now, I will forewarn everyone, if you go to purchase any of these because the colors kind of jump out at you, I need for you to understand that you must work with these over a surface. You need to cover your clothes because... Um, while they are pigmented, uh, NYC needs to tighten it up and kind of get it uh, into a better um, system and packaging and make the product less fallout proof. Okay, so let me begin. And what I'm talking about is the Sparkle Eye Dust. They come in a package like this. Um, the this first one is called uh, Opal Sparkle. And the reason that I say that you need to work over a surface is they have a doe foot applicator in here. And if I move fairly slowly, let me get my little wet wipe here because this is going to go flying. Uh, as you're pulling this out, and I hope you guys can see that right there on the wand, you have product that gets all over the wand. And so as you're pulling out the doe foot applicator, it's just kind of flaking and crumbling everywhere. So that is what it looks like on the wand. Um, if it was not so crumbly like that and messy, um, otherwise it is the colors are gorgeous I have them the top row is swatched over a base and then the bottom is without a base so this very first one is opal shimmer shimmer uh, shimmer and it has some pink iridescence in it it's really really pretty so there it is swatched right there the next one that I got is called Golden Champagne. And Golden Champagne looks like this. And here it is swatched with a base and without a base. The next one that I picked up is called Smoky Topaz. And there is Smoky Topaz. And here it is swatched on a base and without a base. And it is really, really gorgeous. Just messy. The next one that I got is called Amber Glitz. So there is Amber Glitz. Here it is a swatched on my arm. And these were running about $2 and change. Uh, this next one is called Bronze Shimmer. So there is Bronze Shimmer. And here it is swatched out on my arm. And as you can see, that is just gorgeous. 
I just truly wish they were not so messy. This next one is called Amethyst Dazzle. So there is Amethyst Dazzle. And here it is swatched out on my arm. This next one is called Aquamarine Sparkle. And there is Aquamarine Sparkle. Really, really pretty. And this is actually the my birthstone color. So, uh, March Babies, Pisces. So, there is Aquamarine Sparkle. This next one is called Brilliant Sapphire. Really, really gorgeous blue. And here is a swatch of Brilliant Sapphire. And this very last one is called Diamond Dust. And there is Diamond Dust. And here it is swatched out on my arm. So as you can see, even with a base and without a base, they don't do too bad. But when you go to blend these out, you definitely are going to need the base to really make them stand out. Because they kind of shear down. Alright, so those are the sparkle dust. Then I picked up a couple of the... Um, up to eight hour city proof glosses and they come in a package like this and the shade ranges from this very light peachy pink to reds to magentas and they have one called coffee break which is kind of like a deep burgundy but that one was out of stock and I couldn't get that one so this very first one is called um, Everlasting Blossom yep. and it has a doe foot applicator and there is Everlasting Blossom this next one is called uh, Blush Forever And there is Blush Forever. And they aren't sticky. They're really nice feeling on the lips. This next one is called Perpetually Hot Pink. And there is Perpetually Hot Pink. This next one is called Cherry Ever After. And I'm noticing that the, the darker color ones are a lot more opaque. So there is Cherry Ever After. This next one is called Rocking the Clock Ruby. And there is that one. Oh. This next one is called Midnight Rose. Kind of like a brownie, pinky brownie. Right there, so that's Midnight Rose. This next one is called Lilac. And there is Lilac. Two more and then we're done. This next one is called Mauving All Night. And here is Mauving All Night. 
and the very last one is called gold with me and I will put that one right here and here is a swatch of gold with me so as you can see the darker ones are a lot more opaque but the others are like really pretty that I think you can put over top of any lipstick alright guys those were the NYC products that I did pick up from this new display um, if I get a chance to go back and see if the liquid lipstick gloss is there I will try a couple of those and I'm looking to try their mascara. They have one called the Big Curl Mascara. And it's going to come in a tealish package. Alright guys. Take care and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.